legendary gamers. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another StarCraft 2 shoutcast by your cast announcer here, Mr. Worm. Uh, I'd like to introduce our two players here today. Today in the top left hand corner playing Protoss as the blue Protoss, it is FXO ASD. And his opponent today down the bottom right here is going to be TSL Pult. Now, if you give me a second here, I'd like to go ahead and just read you off some of the details. Now, TSL Polt, uh, we all know, is an incredible player. We've seen him uh, in M MLG. We've seen him in DreamHack. We've seen everything he's done. This is a, actually, I believe, an American Ladder League game that he's playing today. And everything that this man touches just turns into gold, except for your win-loss ratio when he's playing you. Then it just turns into shit. Um, FXOASD here has got his hands uh, uh, tied pretty much because he is playing one of the best in the world, one of the top Terrans. And a lot of people would say that Polt is the top Terran, and I am probably one of those people, which is why when I saw that there was a Polt game that had yet to been cast, that, you know, I had to be on it. I just had to be the guy to cast a Polt game because I love watching Polt play. I love his multitasking, I love his capacity. By the way, we're just going to go ahead and turn on the production tab here, that's way you guys can keep up. Um, Polt, uh, currently right now, he is Grandmaster 1v1 and 2v2, as well as FXO. He is Grandmaster 1v1, I don't think he has any active 2v2 teams going on right now. Um, you know, the problem with reading off the ranking statistics for these guys right now is... Um, for instance, Polt is 157 a Grandmaster. That doesn't really tell you a whole lot. Okay, he's got a 64% uh, win ratio, 64.8% win-loss win ratio. And if I start reading these st stats off, because one of these gentlemen plays on the Korean ladder and the other plays on the American ladder, it's really not going to tell you a lot. Um, well, Polt going for a single refinery. And he's got double barracks up, and he's already pumping out Marines, and it looks like that Cybernax score is coming up for um, FXO here, uh, ASD. I really wish he'd picked a different name. It seems a little bland, to be honest. Uh, and there is the SCV scouting out positions. Uh, now, it is fun to note that this is a 1v1 map, so they, they have to spawn cross positions, so they do know where they are. Um, and there is a, a far pylon going down here. now. Sometimes these far pylons can say things like, hey, by the way, you know, I just want to make sure there's no drops in the future coming on this little back corner up here or precipice. Or sometimes they tell us things like, hey, by the way, I'm going to build my dark shrine up here. Uh, but considering the fact there is no second gas at this point, we can kind of obviously assume there is going to be um, no dark shrine. However, considering he is in the 26... He's got, tw excuse me, 29 supply, and he has not yet taken the second gas. That is very, very unusual, ladies and gentlemen. Very unusual indeed. Um, I'm not really sure what he's trying to do here. He's going to lose that zealot immediately. I mean, look, look at this. this. This looks like the challenges from StarCraft 2. Run your... Run, what? I mean, just... What is he doing? This, this man is a grandmaster, ladies and gentlemen. A grandmaster. I assure you, he is actually rated as a Grandmaster, but that was pretty bad. That was really bad on ASD's part. He's probably feeling the jitters playing Polt. Uh, God knows, if I was playing ladder and all of a sudden it said TSL Polt, I would probably crap my pants in my chair. I mean, look at all these Marines. He might as well just expand at this point. I mean, he's got... Actually, he's, he's fairly well defended at this point. Yeah, there's no point in chasing that. like the little split here. I enjoyed how he did that. He's just making sure that that SCV can't get through the line. And now he's just going to sit there in the middle position. That's very intelligent. Uh, no, now he's second guessing himself. He thinks that SCV already got through. So he's falling back to the tower. See, you can't second guess yourself on stuff like that. Polt played a head game with him and it worked out in Polt's favor. You know, Polt probably saw that, you know, that, that, um, Stalker didn't attack me as I went back up the ramp, so that means that Stalker is gone. So, there is an expansion coming down here uh, for ASD. He's already finished it. Uh, Holt does not have such an expansion. There's Immortals coming out and Marines and Stim Pack. So this is going to be uh, uh, pretty much, I hate to call it an all-in, but Polt is known for his all-ins. Okay, 
you trying to drop an expansion on Pult is a stupid, stupid ploy. Okay, you know why? Because Pult all-ins everyone he plays. And when his all-in fails, he expands. Or he expands behind his all-in. So I would not... I would suspect to see an expansion come down depending on how well this goes. Uh, when Pult peeks up here, he'll decide then whether he's going to expand or not. And I'm sure just by looking at this, he's going, No, nah, I'm not going to expand. I've got this. However, based on uh, AFD's you know, uh, army supply here, I think he can hold this. Actually, I really honestly think he can. We got, what, four Marauders? Um, it looks like uh, about 15 Marines. I really like the way those uh, workers suicide is on there. That was probably unnecessary. Consider what's left over here, or they have left over. The the worker suicide um, was absolutely unnecessary. And Polt goes ahead and stems two Marines in. Oh, he tries to catch him there, just to take a look around. Now, he's not looking to do any economic damage. He just wants to get the scout in to see what his, what what he is doing. And now... Uh, ASD is actually in a really good spot. Um, he's got the tech advantage. He does not have the upgrade advantage. However, uh, Pult is going for medevacs. Okay, and he's got the factory almost already completely built with the uh, uh, reactor on it. So this is going to be problems. And there he goes, switching them out. He's going to start pumping out those medevacs. Okay, he's already got the, the Marines building again. Okay. Uh, I don't see any upgrades for him. He's still 0-0, zero, zero, so he continued. He wants to continue with this 0-0 zero, zero push. Um, he's not trying to build up the minerals, so he really just wants to go for this one base all in. So, if ASD defends himself well in this next engagement, which is going to come any second, then he's going to win this game, almost certainly going to win this game, because he's going to be just so far ahead in economy that there's just no way that he can win. And look at that. He has got five sentries on the field. What he needs to do is he needs to get a little bit of vision because right now he is completely blind. He has no idea that this push is coming, even though it is single lining across his map. If he gets in the right position and is aggressive with this, he's going to hold this. And I would really, really, really love to see this. And here, Polk goes for the drop to try and draw away the forces before he brings the main army up. Here he goes, stimming into the main line. He's going to see the damage that he can get done, and he's going to get done a lot of damage in a little bit of time frame. And there, ASD does a good job pulling those workers out. And he only attacks with what he can afford. He does not move his main forces. I like that very much. Stimming up the main line. Oh, you've got to get those immortals to the back. And here he is, bringing in some of the SCVs, making this a complete and utter all-in. And uh, Holt has got to know that he is in trouble. If this does not work for him, he has got major problems. He has got to lose right here. If he does not win right here, he is he is going to lose his game, ladies and gentlemen. And he is dedicating every every little bit of money he can to to this attack. So here he goes, pushing him again, the force fields cut him off, the zealots get in nice and close, there's immortals and the pickup and the drop, trying to snipe those sentries off. He needs to drop some more zealots here, and he needs to wait for that ball to come up the ramp to him. That is a nasty little ball, ladies and gentlemen, and look, here all the SCVs come off the line to try and join it. If he's got enough sentries, only one force field remain, they were low energy got one more, but that's it. And all of uh, his ASD's workers come as well. And he is focusing down. Come on, microvac, microvac. That is just some poor micro. And I tell you what, if ASD had been a micro, he would have won this game. No doubt. ASD GG's out of this game. And that is a really, really sad story because he could have beaten the best Terran in the world. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. Holt went for an all-in, completely dedicated economic suicide, and ASD just could not hold it, unfortunately. Uh, anyway, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the games. Uh, I apologize if my microphone is off, if my um, frames lag at all when I do the encoding. 
Remember, I'm just getting back into this, so this will be my first cast after a very long little hiatus. I appreciate you watching, and you guys have a good night.